When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of a hundred and thirty. Hey everybody, Jerry Williams, AK Greater Sapien here. Thanks for stopping by. Today we look at numbers 171 through 174 of Eric Dubay's 200 Proofs, Earth is Not a Spinning Ball. Number 171. NASA claims there are upwards of 20,000 satellites floating around Earth's upper atmosphere, sending us radio, television, GPS, and taking pictures of the planet. All these supposed satellite pictures, however, are admittedly composite images edited in Photoshop. They claim to receive ribbons of imagery from satellites, which must then be spliced together to create composite images of the Earth, all of which are clearly CGI and not photographs. If Earth were truly a ball with 20,000 satellites orbiting it, it would be a simple matter to mount a camera and take some real photographs. The fact that no real satellite photographs of the supposed ball Earth exists in favor of NASA's ribbons of composite CGI imagery is further proof we are not being told the truth. Okay, he's been saying this number a lot, so let me finally mention that the 20,000 satellite number is the total number of satellites that have ever been put into orbit, not the current number. The current number is uh, 7,560 man-made satellites. And nope, while some of the pictures of the full Earth are composites, others are not. It all depends on the goal of the imaging. The reason for taking photos of the Earth isn't to prove the Earth is a globe. It's to make use of those photos. If you want an image of the Earth that you can zoom in uh, for real detail on, you take photos of a more narrow field of view, either with a satellite that is closer to the Earth or zoomed in on a smaller portion of the Earth, and then you composite them together. If you want to have that image of the Earth rotate, however, you then have to map those images onto a model object because this isn't Harry Potter. Objects in photos don't turn. But that doesn't make the individual photos less real. That being said, there are many images of the complete Earth that are not from these composite strips and are as real as any photo you've taken with a classic film camera or your phone. These photos were taken with a classic film camera held by a human being. Photos taken by the epic camera like this one are digital photos taken in the same process the camera on your phone uses. It is a real photo. 172. If you pick any cloud in the sky and watch for several minutes, two things will happen. The clouds will move and they will morph gradually, changing shape. In official NASA footage of the spinning ball Earth, such as the Galileo time-lapse video, however, clouds are constantly shown for 24 plus hours at a time and not moving or morphing whatsoever. This is completely impossible, further proof that NASA produces fake CGI videos and further evidence that Earth is not a spinning ball. So this is just a lie. The original Galileo time-lapse from 1990, by the way, is only 800 pixels by 800 pixels. So each pixel represents a couple dozen miles of sky, simplified. So subtle changes aren't gonna be noticed. But even with that, you can see clouds form and change. And of course, modern videos have even more detail. 173, NASA has Several alleged photographs of the ball Earth which show several exact duplicate cloud patterns. The likelihood of having two or three clouds of the exact same shape in the same picture is as likely as finding two or three people with the exact same fingerprints. In fact, it is solid proof that the clouds were copied and pasted in a computer program and that such pictures showing a ball-shaped Earth are fakes. Now, 
The image that Dubé shows in his video is that of the Blue Marble 2002 image. Globe deniers like to use this one because even though it was made for a specific purpose, they like to speak of it as if it's the common way of doing things. Note that I said 2002. That's how far back they have to go for these examples. The goal of this imaging process was to create an image of the Earth they could, that could be freely rotated, meaning it had to be mapped onto a 3D shape. They wanted to be able to see all of the land without cloud cover. So they had to take a whole bunch of photos so that at some point a photo was taken of every part of the Earth without a cloud over it. And then they stitched all those together to just have the Earth with no clouds. Then they added a layer of clouds from a composite of many cloud images that had been taken. They also made a layer of city lights at night. Because the goal of this was to be able to turn these layers on and off at will and rotate things. And yes, some of those clouds are duplicated in that process. But here's the important part. They never claimed they weren't. They were very proud of the result, and so they let everyone know how it was made. They weren't faking it. And they weren't trying to pass it off as something that it wasn't. 174. NASA graphics artists have placed things like faces, dragons, and even the word sex into cloud patterns over their various ball earth pictures. Their recent 2015 Pluto pictures even clearly have a picture of Disney's Pluto the dog layered into the background. Such blatant fraud goes unnoticed by the hypnotized masses, but provides further proof of the illegitimacy of NASA and their spinning ball planet mythos. Yeah, this is pretty weak. We are a pattern-finding species. It's what we do. We're really good at seeing patterns when we want to see them, and we're really good at seeing patterns when people suggest them to us. But that doesn't mean they're there, and it definitely doesn't mean that someone put them there. Or that the Earth isn't round. For example, uh, this part of Pluto that you say has Pluto, the cartoon character, superimposed on it, uh, is the Tamba Regio, and it is known as the heart, because it looks like a heart. And now that I've mentioned that, you can easily see it. I didn't put it there. I just put it in your mind. Another example would be that when I look at this, I don't see the character Pluto or a heart. I see Jessica Rabbit. Good luck getting that out of your head. That's my job! That's what I do! I don't lose! I win! I win! Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory. 